We just heard from Dean Richards and Cool of Cool and the Gang about his work with a local charter school. With us now are some alumni and one of the school's founders, Desmond Owasu, Betty Shabazz graduate, Makita Keparu, Chief Instructional Officer at the school, and Haki Matabutu, one of the school's co-founders. Welcome, guys. Mm, charter you, schools, you. we hear about it all the time. I mean, it's in the news now. We've got Betsy DeVos, who wants to be uh, the Secretary of Education. Why charter schools over, especially Betty Shabazz, over other schools? It must be made very clear that we went into the charter school movement primarily because people outside of our communities were coming into the charter school movement, okay? So, number one. Number two, the monies that go into charter schools are, that's our tax money, all right? And we're taxpayers. And number three, we are specialized. Our schools are African-centered schools. When we say African-centered schools, one of the first things that we teach our young people is to love themselves. Mm -hmm. If you don't know who you are, anybody can name you. And so any people who are in control of their own cultural imperatives, political, social, economic imperatives, are about the healthy replication of themselves. Mm -hmm. And so we're about building independent black institutions. In 1967, I founded Third World Press, which is the oldest independent black book publishing company in the world. And then two years later, we founded, along with my wife and others, um, the Institute of Positive Education. And then a year later, we founded the school, New Concept School, which is our first school. And then when the charter schools came in, we moved over and about 20 years ago and started charter schools. Obviously a positive move for you at the time. Desmond, you're a product of a charter school. Why would you tell folks this is where you should look into? What do you think you got out of it? Um, for me, I want to say that uh, the most important thing was I felt like I got nurtured in the school um, in terms of academic, uh, physically, health-wise, but more so like cultural. You know, um, like Baba was saying, I think it's very important, you know, as a kid to understand where you come from, your history, um, certain traditions, um, and, and what responsibility you have in the community. And I think that's probably the one thing that I kept close to my heart. And you, you founded an organization. Tell us about the organization. Yeah, so um, myself and uh, three of my friends, we have a local um, streetwear boutique in Chicago. Um, it's called Fat Tiger Workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, it's located in the West Loop. And um, we're pretty popular. You know, we have a lot of clothes that sell out online. Uh, we generate a lot of, a lot of energy around the garments that we create. Um, do you think going to a charter school helped empower you to be able to do something like that? Most definitely, because um, I think you know, like I, I consider myself to be an entrepreneur, and um, I think as an entrepreneur, you have to believe in yourself and you know have the confidence to create things. You know, and that's one thing that I've always kept with me. Makita, there's a lot of controversy that surrounds charter schools, but how is Betty Shabazz different? Um, Shabazz is different because we put um, a focus on developing not just the academic side of children, um, it's a holistic approach. So we look at the health of the child. For example, we uh, do vegetarian lunches for our children every day. Um, if a family is going to bring a lunch, they still have to bring a vegetarian lunch. Uh, we also put attention to their emotional development. We have um, a social emotional team um, within our network. Uh, we operate like a family. Um, and um, we create a sense of responsibility in the children. Uh, Desmond kind of alluded to that in his work. Um, he's not only an entrepreneur, but he's also um, a mentor. So he comes back, and many of our graduates do come back and do lots of things in the school, and I think that building a sense of community that lasts for decades, for generations, um, is um, a trait of our school that is what makes it makes us different. So you, you take care of the whole student? The whole student the whole and the student. family. Yeah. Uh, Haki, you, you've been around, the, the school's been around for almost 50 years. Well, Third World Press has been around 50 years. Mm -hmm. uh, the Institute of Positive Education, which is the parent organization, has been around 48 years. Almost 50 and, years, yeah, like I said. Right? And, <laughs> and Desmond called me Baba. And, mm -hmm. the, and this yeah, goes back to the whole list of Baba mm -hmm. means father. Mm -hmm. And the, all the teachers are, are either Baba or Mama. Okay, mm -hmm. and the first name, which means that we bring the family into the institution. Mm -hmm. And it's critical for us because essentially we have to be examples of our t students. Okay? And so as Desmond has said, he, he came out understand that he could do this for himself. One of the real problems in the black community is that our young people do not love themselves. And so therefore you have the violence against young people, each other, because it's just love doesn't exist. But at New Concept School, at Betty Shabazz in South Charter Schools, and Barbara and Sizemore Academy, this love does exist. So you don't find graffiti, you don't find uh, students insulting each other. You have find this whole family at atmosphere where these young people get along and work along together. Why don't we see more schools like this? 
you do see schools like this outside of the black community in many cases. When you go to other uh, cultures, say the Polish culture in, this, in the city, or Irish, or Jews, or Italians, you see that among their people. We only do what we've been taught to do. And one of the major problems in the black community is ignorance. As I said earlier, if you don't know who you are, anybody can name you. And one of the real problems is the self-definition. How do we begin to define ourselves, name ourselves, uh, you know, defend ourselves, and so forth? and build businesses essentially speak to our needs and our uh, traditions. And so we, my wife and others, uh, uh, Mama Makita, we decided a long time ago that first and foremost, we have got to speak to the needs of our community. And I need one of the major needs in the black community, we don't have enough black businesses, all right? That the businesses that serve the black community generally come from the outside. Mm -hmm. So when we started Third World Press 50 years ago, that was kept in mind. When we started the Institute of Public Education 48 years ago, how do we build these independent black institutions in our community that we essentially create and fund and direct and define, rather than depending upon people outside of our community to give us that direction? Do it for yourself. Thank you all so much for coming here. Got quite an education today. The Betty Shabazz International Charter School is located at 7822 South Dobson. You can find them online at bsic.org, .org, I'm sure. Thank you.